Hi everyone! Today we're going to make a Fodori on a budget. I've been thinking about this project for a pretty long time and a week ago I bought my favorite magazine and it's called Flow and I got these three crazy beautiful booklets for free with it and so I thought what a better time to do this than now. It also is going to serve a purpose because I want to start sketching and it will be a perfect little dory that I can just take with me wherever I go. So we're starting with two pieces of pretty patterned fabric and you can just pretty much sew it around and be done, be about done with it. But I need mine to house some sketching pens so I need a pen holder. And I decided to use a white elastic band for this purpose. I decided beforehand where my pen should be and sewn a few straight lines. It's really not that difficult. If you are new to sewing, I will have a link for you below with a free online class on Craftsy. It's my go-to place to um, learn new techniques and get new ideas for you ladies. So now that I've sewn around the border and I left one side as it was, I will cut off the excess fabric on the corners and I will flat iron the fabric around the borders so that my corners will be sharp and the fabric will be easier to get into the shape that I want to be. I've also measured and wrote down the measurements of the cardboard that I'm going to place inside. And this is that cardboard that I chose. Remember, you'll need something that's going to hold its own, but at the same time it should be uh, it shouldn't be too rigid. For all the measurements that you'll need, visit my website, the link to which I'll post below. This is an optional step. I wanted my fedora to be uh, waterproof, obviously that the fabric is going to get wet, but this way I know that the cardboard won't be damaged. The material that I'm using is a type of plastic, but I have no clue of what it's called. It's a very soft to the touch and it will also give, give the cover a bit of bulk that I need. Now that the cardboard is done, I'm going to insert, insert it into the fabric and sew around the border to seal all the sides. And I find that it also gives it a whimsical look because I'm sewing with a very colorful thread. A tip with the sewing the border, um, use the zipper foot. My machine had trouble with the corners, it kept sewing in one place without any movement. The zipper foot would, will allow you to get as close to the cardboard as possible. Now I'm punching holes and inserting eyelets. It's a pretty simple process, although the thicker your cardboard, the more elbow grease you'll need to exert. Time to thread my dory with an elastic band. I found this one in our local dollar store. My elastic goes from the top second eyelid to the bottom first, then the bottom second eyelid to the top first, and then I just tie it. This is the same system that is used in the real Midori. I will repeat this process three times because I will have three booklets in there. I have also threaded an, the middle eyelet with an elastic band and attached a cute button to it. And that's practically it. Uh, now the fun part can start uh, for the assembling and embellishing it. I 
I also wanted to cover up all the knots on the top so I attached another button um, and trimmed off the little bits and pieces of the elastic. As a bonus, I wanted to show you how you can make your own booklets and it's as inexpensive as you want them to be. Right now I'm cutting my color paper to size. The length is 21 centimeters and the width is 15. I'm taking 8 of them, all different colors. And this is just kids color paper. It's not really great quality or anything. It's just, I took it uh, again from the dollar store. It was not so expensive. So your booklets can be as expensive or inexpensive as you want them to be. It can be it can be watercolor cardstock, it can be whatever you want it to be. I cut out a piece of cardboard that I've used earlier and I'm going to cover it up with this gorgeous gift paper I found in IKEA. One of my all-time favorite stores. I swear you guys, I could, you know, spend days and days there. And I found this gorgeous, gorgeous gift paper and I couldn't resist, I just had to buy it. Again, it wasn't so expensive, I think it was something around 2 euros, so it's basically 2, two dollars. And I'm cutting out the front and the back, so the front and the back will be the same and I think I know some of you will find it boring. I I'm just in love with this um, with this gift paper. I've also bought uh, a, a lot of different stuff there. Bought this um, gift labels, a lot of um, stickers. They now have them, and also I bought washi tape and a notepad and gift tags. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, <laughs> but they all they are all in uh, fall colors, so I can use them in my um, planners. I can use them in my craft work. So you will probably see me work with them a lot in my next few videos. I just love the colors, by the way. I I'm in love with those uh, color schemes that they had. Now that we have the cover, we can move on to the fun stuff and assemble it. And to assemble it, you need an eraser and a stapler. And this method I learned from a fellow YouTuber. I just forgot her name, I'm so sorry. But it's so simple and I love it so much. I think I will make more booklets and experiment more with them. If you want to see those uh, kind of videos, please let me know. So this is really simple. I just put the booklet on my eraser and stapled it and turned it over and forced uh, the staples with my, with my scissors. You can do it with anything you want. So that's it, my booklet is done, my Midori is uh, done, Fodori is done, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. So if you did like it, hit the like button below and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and for more handy dandy tricks and links and measurements visit my website craftmadesimple.com have a wonderful day and until next time bye